yeah, there is quite a lot of channels in terms of um, outlets and use of metadata. Um, there are some other things you can use for spreading the word of, about publications that are not as official as, as, as the final published form. Uh, Academia Ed U, Research Gate, and there are some things like the new new research environment, Science, Science Open, where um, we'll go to that on the next page, but you can curate research of your interest, uh, interested in from other people and add your own to it. There are also things like subject commons websites, uh, e.g. the Media Commons, HNET. These are all things where um, there are mechanisms and channels to uh, highlight that your work is is, is published. And um, there are pluses and minuses of these. I mean, I, I personally find it a little bit annoying to be told uh, on a weekly basis that I've got one more reader for an article from Academia at U. Um, but um, it's certainly the case if, if in terms of academic announcements, HNET, if you put something out on that, then it, it will reach people and people will pick it up. Um, I should also mention the JISC emailing list, which are meant, uh, listed at the bottom of the page. These are really useful and important in a range of uh, HA, HSS subjects in particular. There are also uh, influential art indexes. That's not the source that's at the back of a book, but this is where um, journals are uh, presented collectively in lists um, for the purposes of libraries picking up. They, they help um, generate kind of, I don't know, rankings or um, I'm trying to think of what the, the, the correct phrase was, uh, frameworks of, of, of respectable and long lasting journals in a particular area. Um, I think they can, however, be a somewhat unhealthy fixation, um, particularly if linked with matters like impact factor, which have have severe problems in terms of uh, what they actually represent as opposed to what they're supposed to represent. Um, and in this respect, Google Scholar is becoming increasingly important. But um, I think um, that you will you will become in due course acquainted with certain indexes which are felt to be important for your subject area, and it's worth knowing what these are. Um, in terms of choices of publishing channel, I think edited books and special issues of journals are somewhat underrated. Um, they're less, let's say, kind of competitively placed in terms of, um, you know, being um, many journals operate a kind of op continuous open submission um, and, uh, you know, operate very high rejection rates. And that may actually you may actually feel you want to succeed in that environment. On the other hand, I think edited books and special issues actually have very good um, outcomes in terms of communicating with people who are really interested in your research. They position you in the field of, of um, like minded researchers who are working in the same area. Uh, and they also kind of provide a focus for a particular theme that may be underrepresented or which you want to highlight in terms of your own work and in terms of connections with others. Our own titles at the University of Westminster Press have tended to fare slightly better. Um, I'm not 100% sure why that is, but I think the volume of metadata, so metadata for each chapter as well as the book, may be one reason. Um, we can also see this effect where some of our authors have, editors have placed the book in ResearchGate. You can see that the automatic mechanisms that they use are uh, disseminating it to other people who might be interested, and this is having a positive effect. I've mentioned other hubs, so I mean, um, annual conferences are useful. Um, uh, mostly online at the moment, and obviously the JISC mailing emailing list, but it's worth um, uh, also keeping an eye on subject professional associations and the JISC lists. Um, so next slide. Here, here's Science Open. Um, this is a, a new type, if you like, of um, discovery environment. Uh, this is a bit more uh, aimed at uh, the, the STEM community. Um, the publishers, um, uh, place material there, and that includes the University of Westminster Press. Um, but it is something where, um, let, let's say, for instance, you're researching COVID across a range of um, di different different um, aspects. Then something like Science O can be a place where you can, um, you know, keep track of that and 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 also uh, represent your own work. Um, it tends to share only metadata rather than actual articles. 